Good morning, 100% Porsche peeps. Today is a very special day. Through my um, activities as um, <clears throat> the admin of 100% Porsche Drive Days, and you can find us on Facebook, 100% Porsche Drive Days, uh, today's our first track day. What can I say about that? Go, Daddy! That's what I can say about that. Go, Daddy! So we've got a full grid today. We've got 20 cars. 20 cars. Uh, a lot of GT cars. We've got a lot of air-cooled cars. We've got a few mid-engine cars. We've got, I'm pretty sure we've got a GT2 RS. I don't even know how that's going to go on the track. Um, but I'm going to try and catch a ride with him. I might even see if he wants me to drive his car and help him bet it in. <laughs> that would be mental. I don't know. I'd have to keep that on the black stuff. That'd be hard for me to do. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going to track day. Uh, I've put it out there. I've uh, put it out to the network of friends, Porsche friends I've got, and uh, the track day filled up almost straight away. So we're going back to the old um, uh, track at uh, on Grogan Drive, which is, uh, for those who aren't in Perth, and you, we used to have a track here run by uh, a company called MC Motorsport. Um, it was shut down for environmental reasons. Can you believe it? It was next to an airport, yet it was still shut down due to noise restrictions. Unbelievable. How did that happen? Uh, but anyway, the good guys down at uh, Direct um, uh, Risk uh, dri Driver Risk Management, DRM, have reopened that. Uh, so kudos to Kim Ledger and Alistair McRae and Olivia Ledger as well for getting that off the ground. So the track's reopened. Uh, the only uh, caveat is we can't have race cars, like true race cars on the track for noise, but regular cars like GT3 um, or regular road cars, um, you know, are allowed. So we're just going to go down there and get sideways and have a lot of fun. So I'll, I'll get as much video as I can of cars going sideways, cars launching, the lot. Like it's open slather. I can't wait. It's going to be an absolutely cracking day. Woohoo! Here we are at the track. We've arrived and we've already got an absolute cracking group of cars. We're going to have just it's just the best day today. Everyone's so excited. We're not even near. So we've got we've got we've got about twenty. We got in fact we have twenty cars. So at the moment there's about ten. So there's still plenty to come. So they're all Porsches and we got one. I think it's a BRZ. I think it's either a BRZ or a Toyota 86. One of the two. But the young guy's going to take his. He's pretty excited. So we're all excited. So uh, you know. I don't know what else I can say. Go Porsche. This is just fucking awesome. I love it. It's so good. Here comes Chris. This beautiful 964. He's going to back straight into my G3. Oh, okay. Very, very excited guys here today. Very, very excited. For good reason, eh? We are at the track. We've just got, have a look. I don't know if you can see behind me. Look at them all lined up there. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is as good as it gets. It is as good as it gets. It doesn't get any better than this. A group of mates at the track. My goodness gracious, mate. Frank's ringing me. Sorry, Frank. I'm making a video, mate. I'll go over and get some video of those cars. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. on the track it's the sighting lap um, first time I've ever had this car on a track and all, the, all my mates have been going you got to get it on the track you got to get it on the track but um, you know I did just we do our social drives and they're just too much fun but today's the day we've got this new track this track that's been around for a while that's finally reopened I 
mention that. You know, kudos to uh, to Kim Ledger, Alistair McRae, um, and Olivia. She's helping us out today. Olivia Ledger. She's uh, part of the uh, the management team. To have this track open and running again is just. And why wouldn't it be? It is a very good track. Very forgiving. No hills, so it's good on the brakes. Um, and there's some bloody good corners that you can uh, you can really test out your skills on. Um, lots of runoff. It's one of the best tracks actually in our area. Um, and there's not that many around, but um, this particular one would be good anywhere. So we're in for a big day today. I'm just I'm just so bloody excited, oh my goodness. So we're just going out now for a sighting lap. It's been a few years since we've been on this track. So we're um, just going out to make sure we still know our way around. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be very exciting, but just, just to see all the cars going around, oh gosh, I love this, it's so bloody good. Just following God for his target here. This car's an absolute cracker, he's had it for, for the entire life of his membership of our local club and it's just been all over the world in events and rallies everywhere and it's just an absolute beauty that one. Freddie, are you excited mate? Buddy oh. Hey. Can't wait. He's like an excited puppy isn't he? <laughs> hey don't don't go off on the first corner like the other guy did. Don't need to worry about me mate. Try and stay on the uh, black stuff. <laughs> you were expecting that, weren't you? Sounds awesome! Yeah, it's fabulous, you know? yeah. That sounded good too. So here I am in my uh, <clears throat> motorbike helmet. Yeah. It's all right, it's approved, it's an approved helmet. I can wear it. Off 
we go, a bit of fun. It's Chris, uh, check him out. Mate, you're gonna bust along if you keep jogging all that, mate. How, huh? You're gonna bust along if you keep jogging Piss all that. Piss off. Um, are we that type passengers? No, I already asked. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. rules. So, unless, unless Brad, if he wants to go, if he wants to do a lap, he could just put on a helmet and go around. Yeah. That might be okay. But then again, he hasn't signed that form, so. No, no, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna to stick to those rules. going Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> so that means more speed into the corner is the man who saw the chicane and <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. the chicane's actually right. caused a couple of spin outs already so so it's gone so now we're going to be seeing guys coming down here a bit faster and we'll be able to get into that corner a bit better so um you know geez we're having a good day today it's a pity they don't allow beer on the track. Oh, oh, right. Imagine Jeez. that. <laughs> Maybe we could. It's a recipe for disaster. Oh, we'd probably drive better. I know I do. Remember that time? Yeah. Professional, professional video here. Uh, oh, it's so professional. It's gonna go. Yeah, it's go viral. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is I, went, I went viral last weekend, mate. Did you go? How'd you go viral last weekend? Oh, oh you were. Yeah, chicken pox. <laughs> just, like, just get out of here and have a look at this. It's just too good. I mean, I, these videos don't capture how good this actually looks. But these cars all lined up here. We just got like a great selection, and I'd, I'd say this this touring here. Sorry, this touring here, right? Uh, it's just got straight pipes. It sounds sick, sick. I'll try and get some video of it later. But yeah, we we'll we'll just have too much fun. With Adrian, he hasn't, he's been good today. He's gone well, but he's blaming his tyres for not being fast <laughs> enough. He kept getting caught by this Series One Cayman yeah, S. I have to blame something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna blame something. So, yeah, have a good day, though. That's yeah, the main thing. Thanks. All right, cheers, mate. See ya. Absolute cracker, mate. Oh, mate. You know what? I, I was I doing a video on this the other day. So much. You yeah. have a look at it, right? There's a little duck tail on the back. I know. I know. You know it's it's a cool duck tail, mate. I love it. Mate. Well, that's it. Days are days done. And it's ended with the Toyota actually going off and they've gone to recover him. We don't know where he is. He's somewhere over behind those trees over there. It's not bad because he rang his dad. So he's not hurt or anything, but he might be bogged or something. Uh, but that was a pretty good day. So most of the guys have gone home. We've just had a bit of lunch. And all I can say is thanks everyone for coming today. Freddie, good day or what? Good day, Brett. He's speechless. We took some video up, up the end of the track. I'll put that on the, uh, on the on the compilation because seeing that GD3, the white GD3 4.0 come down the road with the four lights coming at you, full tilt, braking in a straight line, heel towing into the corner, turning in. My goodness gracious me. There goes Conrad. Conrad's uh, heading back. There he goes. 
And I must say, Conrad, if you're watching this later, mate, you pedaled that car really well today. I was really impressed. You um, you kind of stayed on the black stuff for most, well, all the, the whole day, and you turned in well and, and that. He goes, God, Godfrey's car was being driven by his son, Declan. There they go, the little Targa. See you, boys. And uh, he did actually go off a couple of times, but nothing too bad. Uh, but that car's been around for a long time, so... Um, it's good to see Declan have a bit of fun. Anyway, we'll see what happened with that Toyota because I'm a bit concerned about that. Cheers.